I know there's a timer, and it's gonna piss a lot of you off, but I'm ready. I saw no sense of just sitting here for the next minute, just because. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> I am Vladimir Ledoux, and tonight we will finally be finishing The Messenger, and then we're gonna go through and do the DLC as well. Welcome in everybody right off the bat. We got Stratager in here, Sir Captain Raven, Axton, Lokut, Zifnu, Zorvax, thank you for the host. Everybody's here. Twitch is being I don't know if it's Twitch. I don't know if it's me. I Twitch has been twitchy. I sound different. It, it could be a little quieter. Maybe that's why. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't change anything. I'm not as stuffed up today from allergies. Bring forth the bicycle pumps. Let's pump some life into the stream. All right, let's do it. Okay. Um, I have to remember what I'm doing. <laughs> you think it wouldn't be that hard? Okay. We're at about 11 hours, and according to how long to beat, it was saying anywhere from about 11 to 12 hours. So, that's not bad. I have a confession. I'm drinking a White Claw for the first time. These are actually amazingly delicious. <laughs> I sound a little less lively than usual. I am tired. I'm not gonna lie about that. My kid's been staying awake and <sighs> keeping me up. But I'm here. Can we get codes? Uh, what codes? What codes are you talking about? <laughs> you gonna disagree about them being delicious? Do you, but like what I'm saying is like it's it's like I'm having just like flavored seltzer water, but. <laughs> Next thing you know, after three or four of these, you're you're, you're pretty good. <laughs> I've had a balcony. I'd throw water balloons at my neighbors. Wouldn't we all? I, I do have a balcony. I... The problem is, is I have to live next to them. <laughs> There's no way I would do that. <laughs> Slip us the launch clothes secretly and no one has to get hurt. BRB restarting. Okay. Um... Oh, that's right. We have to go into the music box, right? Oh, no, it didn't save when I quit last night. I was afraid this happened. Mm. I, I turned off my computer last night after the stream, and I sat there and I was like, did I save? And I thought to myself, oh, it saves. It didn't save. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I skip this? Yes. Okay. That means I have to run from that damn thing again. Or no, no, that's right, we didn't. We didn't. Music box beckons. So that's all that it didn't save was that cutscene. Okay. Woo! Are you ready to face your last challenge? Yes. Jeez, it's are good. Those bacon ones? Oh. <laughs> the Cheddar Jack is where it's at, though. Dude, this music. The stage looks awesome. Woo! Yep, I'm digging this music. Okay. 
You know I saw that thing coming down to hit me. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jesus and Ritz Cheez-Its and Ritz crackers make me physically ill. Cheez-Its used to have that effect on me. I, I understand that one. What I'm sad about is those chew his are basically impossible for me to get my area. Cheez-Its. Why can no one say Cheez-Its? <laughs> <laughs> the bacon ones are amazing, and sadly, like, they only put them in the, uh, it's like the mixed bag, the mixed box, you don't get just, like, I just want a box of the bacon cheese hits. That's all I want. Just give me a box of them. I'm so glad the, uh, <laughs> the spikes are not instant kill. <laughs> A pure roll? I've never heard of it. level is way more challenging than I at first I thought it was going to be. You know where you can get- I've never seen them, Sir Captain Raymond. I don't believe they exist. <laughs> I guess it's buffing stream tonight. I'm gonna go drink it snacks and see if it's better when I come back. Hopefully, it levels out for you, Zip. Um, I know I'm at the end of the game, so it's gonna be hard. I get that. It just didn't look hard at first. Oh, fuck this. Ah, ah get rid of the bird. jumped when it went down and there was momentum and it screwed everything up. <laughs> you know, I, I saw that in my peripheral vision. I was like, this is a purple thing flying at you. It can't be good. Didn't move. You got this next time, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Bonte. Yes, this this is some, probably one of my favorite tracks so far that I've heard in the game. And I really do like them all. They're probably not in the store near me, Sir Captain Raven. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, that was a trap. <laughs> I just 
I fell for it, but I managed to make it. Ooh. Okay, so I was like, good, those still work outside of here. You can hit it in the past and it opens in the future. Son of a bitch. I see it now. Maybe? What am I... There we go. Had to think a little more abstract there. <laughs> Yet, I don't know what the frames, what, what the deal is tonight. Hopefully that level's out soon, sooner than later. <sighs> yeah, I... Ever since... Everybody is now, like, on the internet. My internet has taken a bit of a hit. <laughs> it always seems to level out, though, so hopefully it gets better. No. It, it, there seems to be weird, like... I don't know, it comes and goes. Ah! That's right. This one. Son of a... I guess it's because, like, the second you try to duck, if you were, you would just go on the, uh, the conveyor belt, so the ducking's not an option. Nope. Ah. I wonder what we're all going to, what we're going to do in 4-20-2020. I don't even know if the dispensaries here are open. So that, that's what happens when you're underneath those, despite them not touching the ground.
Let's just finish using my areas to shut down at the moment. Only having medical clients. That's probably what they're doing here. It seems like the responsible thing to do. <laughs> I love this world, like the organ theme and everything, because that's what he's in here playing this whole time. Shipping would be a problem. It's a uh, males federal. <laughs> just, just some slight logistical issues there. That's all. All right. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Taking the- I was gonna try and take advantage of iframes, so I didn't realize how little health I had. Okay. Ah, oh, this spot again. Is that something that always happens? Like, I've noticed things not- Pip checkpoint, right? Oh, come on. That's open. There was a checkpoint in that room and like I didn't even activate that the first time. I should have.
I don't think organs are steam powered where all this. I, the original ones were, if I remember right. I mean, it's air or steam. I can't remember. But I know that they did exist at some point. But let's be honest, as a time tra traveling ninja, it, it, we're not going for accuracy here. <laughs> had like crank boys down in the basement of the church just cranking a wheel for a while. <laughs> the ninja is wearing blue, this is correct. Really? I'm glad your emote's been useful too. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come in handy. <laughs> the portraits in the background? I didn't see. Classic trick of the health on this place or places that I probably get with doesn't get the losses too helpful in the games one. Well, yeah, I'm not sure how much I would have gotten. I like that they indicate how far the pistons are moving by where the tubes are. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay. Somehow lived through that. Oh, music's going away. We are somewhere special. <clears throat> A visitor? I must be having visions again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was faded. <gasps> Who are you? Did you get my message? Hmm? 
How dare you trespass here? I'm here to help. You've been cursed. <gasps> cursed. It's all true. Then, isn't it? All of it. But you can't end this now. Remove the mask. Preposterous. I shall make short work of you. I am not your enemy. You created the scroll, didn't you? Impossible. How, how long has it been? Did, did someone really get my message? Enough. You will pay for your treachery. Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Lies. 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 I'm here to set you free. I shall have none of it. Prepare to die, intruder. Oh, boy. Oh, it's like a Ganon fight. Damn. All right. Bring it. That's not like any Ganon fight I've ever been in. Can I? Okay, so I can jump into these. Damn, I keep messing that up. Thankfully, he's flashing, so I know which one to hit. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, God. I'm going to die. Yep, there it is. What it, you get to the like, fifth shot, and it's it's much harder. Ah! Dang. Damn it! Can't be it. Thank you, I... The music box. No, all my memories. 
my love. This is bad. Let's get out of here. I really hope they can make it out fine. I, I'd love to finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What, what if the shopkeeper doesn't get in there in time? I knew I should have gone myself. We're back. Chill out. We made it. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom! Do you want to try the Tower of Time challenge I designed? <laughs> Give him some time. He had quite a ride. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. Can't you just breathe? Just this once? <laughs> oh no. What's wrong? The curse. The mask's energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. All those walls. Hey, you're safe now. Don't worry. It's here. It wants to take me back. Help! Oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. Its full force has been unleashed. We were fools. That's what their plan all that was their plan all along, to let the curse grow in power as we waged an ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate us completely when we thought we had a win. One. What are you talking about? Surely we won't give up so easily. Any suggestions, then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing. Order is down to the three of us. You know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we should all be able to do the thing. Everyone with me. Are we? Is this going to be some like Voltron level shit here going on? I really hope so. <laughs> yes. The fake ending was better. <laughs> that was the that was the achievement. <laughs> I'll be back after the credits.
Okay, that game is awesome. The credits song was awesome too. Now on to Picnic Panic, the DLC. Then the mask shattered into pieces and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. The end. Wow, talk about a long story. Well, if you asked. Anything else I can help you with? I don't know, I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. <laughs> now we speedrun it. <laughs> I'll leave that to Zorvax. <laughs> to be continued, and we already have the, we already have the DLC. New game plus mode unlocked. Is that how I access the DLC? It's just new game plus. Do I select this or do I select this? What do I do? It's, I hate this point when it's like it says new game plus down here is available. Is it available up here? Like, <laughs> I feel like I've run into this a lot with new game plus. It's never 100% obvious, but I guess we'll go with that. Ah, new game plus. New game plus mode is an additive. Every additional cycle increases difficulty, but also allows you to pick an additional item to be available from the start. Select one you want to add. Well, is this... Is that the DLC? Okay, now I'm confused. It sure doesn't seem like the DLC. Open the old game. Synchrony orb. Oh, there we go. Blurry visions are forcing themselves into focus. What is happening with the orb? Wait, did you see something in there? Well, it was blurry. Uh-oh. What? Well, the demons are not only fighting us across time, but across space, too. You mean parallel universes? Precisely. The orb, among other things, warns of us of alternate timelines where the demons are about to win. And if that happens, these events could overwrite our own reality. How does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> In fact, if you prefer consistency over additional content, I suggest you leave the orb alone. <laughs> Just you don't leave that arm alone. Oh god, I love it. An <laughs> alternate island of pumpkins have been kidnapped to save the day. Messenger is in need of the tropics. Alright, here we go. <laughs> what is going on? My devices are reacting as if a portal to another dimension had just opened. It's fine. You can get back to work. But I'm supposed to be the one opening the portals. I'm telling you, it's fine. Is the message you're leaving for a side adventure? Yes. And do you think you will do the thing? I don't know why. Because it's not a real adventure if you don't do the thing. Look, it's just a quick trip to the dimension where Vodka Voodkin Island never merged with our mainland. I'm sure nothing of it will happen. Well, you better let me know if you do the thing. I want to be there. Okay, fine. I'll keep you in the loop. Sick. Won't be in my lab. Do the thing. <laughs> what? Nothing. Well, why don't you go then? It's just for once I wish someone said Godspeed, Artificer. Oh, come on. We're trying to focus here. Why do you always feel the need to make everything about you? Hey, I work really hard, but it's always only... Well, I work really hard, it's always only about you and the Prophet. Wait, don't... You rang. Oh, 
Oh, Prophet, can you say Godspeed Artificer just this once, please? I'm sorry, what? Wow. Can't we just get on with the show already? These two, I swear. Just go, Messenger, and don't forget you are entering an alternate reality where you must prevent... Where you must prevent at all costs. Which you must prevent at all costs. I'll handle these two. <laughs> this game. <laughs> In an alternate timeline far off the coast of Messenger Island... The sun shined bright on tropical Voodkin Islands. The little Folkins decided to have quite the picnic. But as fate would have it, the demon general Barmouth Isael appeared out of nowhere to cause quite the panic. Taking his hostages deep into Voodkin Island's deadly jungle, he would use them for an evil ritual. Only one hero could travel across dimensions to rescue the Folkins and foil Barmouth Azael's plan. Unless, of course, it was all a trap. I am ready to do the thing. Let's go! Uh, spoilers. Why, hello there, young adventurer. Elder, I was teleported here, but I don't know where I am supposed to go. And you are? You don't recognize me? I'm part of the clan. Listen, I might be old, but it will take more than a costume to fool me. I remember every single student. But I'm a real ninja. You taught me yourself. Do you even cloud step? It matters little. I can sense the scroll's power, which means my time is probably better spent helping rather than questioning. A very tall and apparently evil being came in peace to wait at the docks for the messenger. Said he had a mutually beneficial offer for him. I suggest you head for the docks now. And again, we are well versed in the prophecy and acknowledge the scroll. No need to wear a disguise next time. Where are the docks? Are the docks to the left? I think they're to the left. Whoa. So are we up here? No. We don't... It's all the same, right? Yeah, it's all the same. It's just an alternate reality. Is this a new game in 8-bit or old game? It's a new game that does 8-bit and 16-bit, and welcome in, Magnificent. I'm telling you, height makes right. The messenger will bow before the mighty Ruxton. <clears throat> what? The messenger has arrived? Oh, right. Just when you think you have plenty of time left to practice your spooky flight intro, I guess I'll just have to come down. Watch this. <clears throat> and so the messenger seeks the aid of Ruxton the Great. I do. Well, aren't you here trying to get the Voodkin Island? Yes, apparently some Fogans have been captured. And how do you suppose you will get there? Well, I was thinking of calling my buddy Manfred to fly me. And ruin his internship with the Clockwork Concierge? That's not what buddies do. I have you cornered. Bow before me and acknowledge my superior height when I will take you there on my skull mount. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. Look, I have a day tomorrow. Could you help me get my stilts back? <laughs> I'll take you to Vukin Island afterward, I promise. Sure. All right. Hop on. <laughs> oh, this weather is perfect. Want me to teach you how to surf? Yes. All right. First rule of surfing: avoid rocks at all costs. 
Um, sometimes avoiding a rock means jumping over it. Gnarly. Okay, last thing is the Necro Boost, which has no cost or cooldown. Press X to use it. Not too impressive, right? Here's the kicker. The Necro Boost is maintained when it feeds off of enemies or debris. Press X to use it now. We canceled if you hit a rock, though. You can change lanes, though. Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding the Necro Boost if you want to maximize speed. That about covers it. I'll let you drive now. Time to shoot the curl. so fast, it's all just blending in. Ah, I should have moved. This is not ending well. Oh, come on, I landed on Apparently, I am not good at this destruction sort of thing. Show that squid who's boss. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to hurt this guy. Ooh. 
Ah, ram the ink. We can ram the tentacles, though. Oh no. Magnificent. Those don't work currently anymore. A lot of the a lot of the old sound effects and stuff don't work anymore. Enough. Give them back. Why don't you tell us what is wrong, Ruxton? I don't want to talk. I just want my stilts. But we miss you. Why won't you visit? Stop it. You're not my mom. Ruxton? <laughs> <laughs> he left again. Yes, I don't understand him anymore. I thought the necromancer thing was just a phase, but it's been so long now. I feel responsible, but we never should have told him he was adopted. <laughs> don't cry, Oct. <laughs> you know I was adopted. Once the magic seed is imbued with voodoo energy, I will be one step closer to getting my revenge. So naive and predictable, I bet he is already on his way to save these useless creatures. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I knew it. Time to hide for now. <laughs> Tentacle touch. <laughs> like, why do you have to call it that? Welcome to the tropics. Can you turn around for a second? Please. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> I'll let you get off and then come see me if you want to go surfing again. Oh, yeah, they should have blurred it. It would have been so much more funny. <laughs> Yes! Ah, 
Ah, the messenger. I was expecting you a bit sooner. Hey, uh, I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, it's like a tiki shop or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? The people who always assume everything should be defined from their perspective. No, I just like the tiki shop. <laughs> sure. Let's disregard that. Maybe that's just the shop to me, and that I would probably perceive the one from your world as the arcane shop or whatever. After all, I'm the one visiting here, right? I bet you reply with the name of your town when people take turns saying which country they came from. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the shop. I'm glad it pleases your egocentric eye. <laughs> Oh, and I almost just attuned your scroll to the tropics. You should be able to see the time rips now. Need anything? Oh my god, this guy's amazing. What do you want to chat about this current area? So, Voodkin Island. <laughs> oh yeah. Enjoy the tropics and try not to harm little Voodkin too much. They're not evil. Like in the place so far, the weather is really something unique. What's wrong? Look. I accepted long ago that our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather is where I draw the line. <laughs> what do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? Have any stories to share? Of course I do. Does this area look like it's part of the tacked on wannabe Metroidvania to you? Which story will it be? Maybe I could tell you about the evil genie who would always corrupt the owner's wishes so that the one asking to fly could never land, and the one asking to know everything could never talk or write. Sure, that sounds interesting. Or maybe I could tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior and became a sword swallower after hearing that we are what we eat. <clears throat> what? Oh, I know, there's here's one for you. There once was a family of innkeepers operating their business in a world devoid of physical boundaries. Indeed, the establishment had an endless amount of rooms to rent, and businesses was so good each and every one of them was occupied. Still, new customers would keep coming in and being given a room there right away. Wait, how can someone rent a room if there's no vacancy? Unprecedented, right? You see, living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Thus, even though all the rooms were occupied, the possibilities with them were as endless as corridors they belonged to. So the new customer would always get room number one and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, who would then ask the other customer to do the same for number three, and so on forever. It might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be a next room to go to and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. And while that was certainly bound to cause discomfort to an unfathomable amount of people, the fact still remained that every new customer would get a room even though there was no vacancy. That's sort of neat? Sort of, yes. And speaking of neat, one can seldom imagine the housekeeping costs, so the innkeeper family eventually determined that there needed to be some sort of boundaries. For their end to be manageable, the number of rooms for the had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. Oh my god. <laughs> Eventually, the passage of time blurred this story as it does all things, changing the world's spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that just happened. Really? Really what? I can't believe this. You dragged me through all of that just for a stupid pun at the end. <laughs> you know what I can't believe? That after all these stories you still won't think past the surface. Or do you simply not care that I just managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do infinity plus one by conceptualizing ensembles with properties capable of perfectful movement in a way a five-year-old would understand? Thought so. the shopkeepers an ass, right? <laughs> just, just, just straight me. <laughs> You'd think somebody in, like, such a nice place would be so much happier. He's very jaded. Very jaded. 
pedos? Interesting way of setting these up. <laughs> he says, Ow. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I totally accept that. <laughs> but it was funny. I got money for the time sink. You, you don't have any more stories. It's much of an ass to see as I like. I want to talk more soon. <laughs> it's been one of my favorite things is talking to the shopkeep. Alright, we'll just start from the bottom and work our way up. Sometimes mistaken for a homemade jam jar, this deadly botanical foe has an obvious weak point. I'm literally just getting information about him. It's a time sink. I should know that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a little trophy.
Oh, dang it. I scrolled right past it. Didn't even see what it was that I was... There we go. In a good skirt. <laughs> hey, look at you. You found an optional item. What is it? A mask piece. I think it goes along with the voodoo feathers you can find in the open sea surfing area. Will something cool happen if I collect all the feathers and mask piece? Well, it certainly yield more than asking a rhetorical question. It'll certainly be your <laughs> Good luck out there. <laughs> this dude's an ass. Just. <laughs> They're not bad guys. They're not bad guys. <laughs> That's gonna keep happening. That one wasn't- like, it was intentional to attack those things. I thought they were bad. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I didn't realize they were good guys until I realized they weren't dying. Like, it, it makes you feel any better. They don't die, they just get a little headache for a little bit. <laughs> Sword in the face must be awesome. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, that almost got me. Okay, now these guys are trying to hit me. <laughs> Welcome in, kid. How you doing? Hey, I need to get your address so that we can send you uh, masks. Yes, Terraria is finally going to have its... The journey's end is coming very soon. So 1.4 of Ferrari is going to be on my birthday. Nice! Ooh, I hate doing that. Just dropping freely. Dude, that carrot cake looked amazing, Stratager. I'm not gonna go for some carrot cake. That fucker hit me. Those guys, I have no choice but to hit. That's gonna be the next emote. It's just Vlad's a monster. <laughs>
shit. Happy bird. I don't even remember what that demon's name is there, but I love his reaction when you get to a boss. <laughs> it just nopes out. It's... I don't want any part of this. <laughs> now that I know, I, I, I don't to hurt those things either, but... Ooh! You didn't do that last time. I feel kind of bad for hurting those birds last time, though. Jerry's it's still alive. Oh my god.
honestly, I think having this over here. Ah, I was hoping I could jump up. Got a little greedy there. Do this. Oh, I did it. Oh. That was a bitch. Like, thanks for destroying my totem. Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I was doing a ritual to prevent the volcano from activating, and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way. No way. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. Yes, my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. So, does this mean the volcano will activate? With that demon's general, Barma Thazel, planning in, on using it to conjure up some voodoo ritual, we'd all better hope not. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your totem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it, I'm sorry. It's alright. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll just adjust the wind for you. Follow me. Welcome in, Pecker Ecker, and how you doing, buddy? You can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind your mis our misunderstanding. He seems like a very understanding green orb. Thank you so much for the 400 bits. That is greatly appreciated. Ooh, this, this soundtrack, man. Ooh. I... I'm I'm the bully. I'm the one just picking on these poor tribesmen. <laughs> Do you have anything to tell me about this place? Chat. 
what do you want to chat about? Fire Mountain, huh? Time for a sunset hike. Fire Mountain? Why isn't it just called the volcano? I'm not sure. Apparently some kid named this one. Look, as long as you take the climb, you can call it whatever you want. What do you want to chat about? Any more stories? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a couple of farmers who inherited a very peculiar patch of land. Indeed, once every harvest season, it would grow a gigantic crystal pumpkin. After a few years of living a very wealthy life by dominating the crystal market with fruit, the farmers were taken over by greed. Surmising that the pumpkin patch had to be laying up over a crystal mine of some sort, they dug up all the plants and shoveled dirt wall while fantasizing about what they would do with all their riches. Unfortunately, as it quickly down dawned on them, there were no rare mineral cash to be found. The one thing they did find, however, was that in destroying their pumpkin patch, they had forfeited all future chances of getting their yearly giant crystal fruit yield. They lived unhappily ever after, wishing they had taken good care of their plants instead of letting their greed ruin everything. The moral of this story is that one should be grateful for what they have and be mindful not to lose it all by always be wanting more. The end. Isn't that just the same as the goose that laid golden eggs? Yes. Well, minus the whole poultry murder bit. There are two things that you can take away from this. First, that by pointing this out, you just gutted a perfectly enjoyable story of its ability to enchant you. You ripped its core open and broke it, rendering it worthless, exactly the way that a greedy crystal pumpkin farmer would. And second, I bet you thought pumpkins were vegetables. <laughs> oh, that guy makes me happy. <laughs> How could you fucking ask me? monster. I'm going after the demon. I was about to say, like, do I even know like why I'm here yet? Sorry, I'm going after that demon. You attack me. Oh, 
<laughs> it's a necessary evil. Well, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go now. Oh, that other side had a mass piece. So that's where we gotta, we gotta go. for a mass piece. It's optional. So this is the uh, the crazy platforming that Zorvax warned me about in this one. Are you kidding me? This section looks like ass. It is! It is! And it's all optional, but honestly, like, I don't know, when it comes to platformers and stuff like that, I'm always big into it. Like, there was this thing in, like, Guacamelee, for example, there was a... this completely optional challenge. And just fight it taking me forever. I was determined 100% to beat it. And I did. Just for bragging rights. Thank you. 
Gotta do it for the bright guys. The only reason I did the Sam's fight in Undertale. Ah, oh, I still, that's one I haven't beaten. I got all the way to him and, like, on the last, like, I got, like, I think the last stage of the fight. I, I can't get past it. I just got so frustrated I gave up. my error there. Wow, there was no checkpoint in between any of that? There it was. I didn't touch it last time. Crystal Pumpkin.
Amy, I'm Alex. How you doing, buddy? Just message you while I'm playing the messenger. <laughs> now the question: Are you playing the messenger, watching me be the messenger in the messenger? That's, that's the big one. Oh shit! Oh no! Why is that so hard? Can't be any downtime. No. <laughs> being slow, right? It's those old reflexes.
Oh my god. I thought I fell into the lava. Oh my hand. Except I screwed up just on that. Then take a second jump. Platforms. Hey, I can get rid of you in here with all of this coin. Go away. He's, he's not gone. Yeah, now he's gone. Anything new to say? No. Let's go throw some money in the the time sink. A venomous bug with fake teeth. Fire inclined turtle demon likes to stand still and spit fires. And the ranged kappa. I don't even know why I'm bothering with the mask piece, because I know I'm not going to end up getting all the feathers. I'm not going, like... I don't know, maybe I'll end up doing a 100% run, because I'm only like 11 coins away. Ha! <laughs> Puncture the will of you, messenger! So it really is you. I thought you died during the explosion in the underworld. You think that's all it would take to get rid of me? I told you once, you son of a scribe, I'm the fastest that's ever been. Release the Vulcans now and be gone, demon, or I'll defeat you again. Oh, I wouldn't drag you all the way out here just to lose another duel. See this magic seed? It is almost done absorbing voodoo energy, and when it is ready, you will see who has the last laugh. Voodoo energy? In this land, fear can be converted. And when it comes to fear, these little guys are an endless supply. In order to fully charge the magic seed, I need to scare them good. To that effect, I should thank you for stepping right into my trap. And by trap, I mean voodoo altar. <laughs> now don't move, messenger. It's not like you could anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A 
at last, the Dark Messenger is born. The Heart of Fire Mountain awaits you too, where I placed voodoo idols with the perfect enchantment to damage greed demons. Get to enough idols first and Dark Quarble will be defeated. Fail and you will lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed for the Dark Messenger to take your life. So let us see how you fare in a race against yourself, Ninja. You won't get away with this. Look on the bright side, you won't have to see what happens to the Folkins next. Oh, I don't like this at all. Please save us. Enough of your complaining. Now how does the saying go? Oh yeah. Godspeed, messenger. <laughs> okay, not cool. Hey, why didn't you show up earlier? I'm not talking to Pirate Face ever again. Hmm? Look, can we just prevent this? I'd rather not die. Quick, let's go. That outfit. He must be from the clan that taught me how to cloud step. This probably means... Quibble. Hey, Monk. I think I found another clue related to the cultist. The primal fear can wait. I think we're at the, the branching points mentioned by the prophet. Oh, with that quarrel guy? Yes, it all makes sense now. Please look after them. Right away. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> that one was hard. Oh damn, I was doing so good. No! <laughs> oh no! Damn it! <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh no. <sighs> I have to start all that over again.
Oh, come on, I swung on that first. Oh my god, it's different every time. This one, I, he gets it perfect every time. I can't let it get to that end. He gets so ahead on that one. Damn. Fuck! <sighs> it's all back down to that. Did I get him? 
And so the messenger wins the race. It's over, demon. Your plan has failed. Release the hostages now. Now, now. Let's not be hasty. You merely played into my hand once again, ninja. For the dark messenger's full potential to be unleashed, it first needed to be untethered from its greed, demon. Oh, how I've been waiting for this moment. Now, my dark messenger, I reckon it's time for us to... Do. The. Thing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, damn. I knew it. Uh-oh, this is actually pretty bad. I'll be right back. I get all of that, but even if the scroll had somehow been copied too, that doesn't mean that they should be able to- Well, well, if it isn't the shopkeeper. Okay, that's not gonna do at all. What? Surely, if we do the thing, we can defeat it. Oh, without a doubt, it's just... The hat on this guy? Well, why don't we do the thing then? Listen, I'm all for fighting bulky bosses, but fashion statements are something I am take very seriously. One moment, please. All right, it's showtime. <laughs> Put that. <out. laughs> oh, is it going to be like Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Yes. How do I block? It's like punch out. Oh, holding back is okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is... This is hard. Fight. I am really bad at this. Oh my fuck! I'm really bad at this. Fight. Oh, I moved over to the right. Come on. That's one way to win. Fight.
I moved. <sighs> oh, we got knocked up bad. Want me to show you a few boxing tips? Yes, please. All right, we got lucky there. By default, your guard is down. Locking regular punches to the gut. Let's see what he does next. Right in the face. Let's block the next one by moving our guard up. Hold up. Okay. That hurt. As you can see, some attacks target both the face and gut at the same time, making them unblockable, but that doesn't mean that we can't dodge them. That combo is going to leave a mark. It might be hard to read at first, but your enemy will always show some anticipation before doing any specific move. That anticipation meant he was going to do his first combo, which is two punches down followed by two punches up. Blocking the first two is easy. Just let go of left in the arcing golem will protect the gut. Press A. Okay. He's about to follow with two punches to the hold up, up and you'll raise your guard. Okay. So that was the problem I was having with guard. I couldn't figure out what I was doing. Now with this one especially annoying, it can't be blocked or dodged. That means it's time to duck. Hold down. Now here's the key to winning a fight. A successful dodge leaves your opponent open for solid hits. That's how you do it. Hold up and press X. Let's finish this with the right hold up and press A. Chant. One last thing, if you'll notice a special move, yep, I figured that one out. Okay, now I can do this. It's a demon fight night in the mouth of a volcano? This is great. <laughs> I know I have special, but I'm going to use that for the next round. He's almost gone. Okay, next round, he's going down. Fight. Or I'm going down. That works too. I should have dodged that instead of trying to duck. Fight.
This is hard. I'm really shitty at reading his attacks. Just use it. saw that coming too and did nothing about it. This is the DLC, Jonas. Welcome on in, buddy. How you doing? Oh, the DLC's been great. I was ducking. <sighs> Clearly, I weren't. <laughs> oh, get some. Now that's a finale, it was the <laughs> achievement. <laughs> that's an awesome battle. It... It worked! <laughs> the voodoo energy is finally loose and ready to be absorbed. What is he on about? Didn't we just knock this guy out? Behold, as the magic seed ripens before your very eyes. Whoa, I want a seed like that. I can't deal with whatever you have to throw at me, demon. I, I can deal with whatever you have to throw at me. Oh, and you won this round, messenger. But it will return. <laughs> well, this takes care of that. Oh, I can't wait to see what he does with the seed. What should we do in the meantime? <clears throat> Could you maybe get us out of here? It's about time we had that picnic. We're starving. Yes, let's all go to the picnic. Yay!
Thank you for joining. Um, I have a feeling the platforming wasn't too bad for you, given your playthrough of Celeste. Yeah, no, it wasn't that bad. I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Joining us at the picnic. Well, thank you for the invite. This is amazing. You kind of invited yourself along. If you ever need to measure anything, you can use me from the bottom of my shoes for the tip. This tape is a measure. It's exactly 112 centimeters. The fight was so sick. We should do that thing again sometime. We should do the thing again sometime. Is it true that you have to leave soon? Food Team Island is so much fun. Whew, what an adventure. Yeah, we only organized this picnic because we wanted permission to drink little juice boxes. Totally part that of the end. This party isn't that bad, but I'll need to get back to my lab soon. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I guess, why not? Top the searing crags. Yeah, we'll do crossroad next week. It was the power seed. Yo, this is kind of crazy, Colos. This new diet made me so flexible. So I see this. I think to think we're relying on brute strength alone for all this time. We should train more studiously, Zeus. I agree completely, Colos. Good day to you, Cyclopsis. Were you waiting for some someone, Zeus? I have no idea who's under that cliff, Kolos. State your business, Wanderer. Pardon the intrusion. I was looking for experienced botanists, and rumor had it that you two are the best this island has to offer. Yo, this guy's correct, Kolos. Let's see what he wants, Zeus. What is it you want? What, what's it to you, Wanderer? You see, I have come across a very rare magic seed, which, given proper care, is bound to grow into a beautiful plant. Huh? What do you reckon, Kolos? We gotta see that seed, Zeus. You have our attention, Wanderer. Show us. With pleasure. Here. And did I forget to mention, it will give herbs that can be used for cooking. We are so planting the seed, Zeus. Kawabunga, Kolos. What could go wrong? Say no more, Wanderer. We will grow the magic seed. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I must admit, I'll miss the beach. So, yes? Will the adventure continue sometime later? That's not up to me. Feel free to replay Picnic Panic as many times as you want, though. This is new. Is that the altar I saw at the top of the fire mountain? <laughs> Why, yes it is! I thought it would be a cool addition to my shop. <laughs> what happened to the caged monster thing? It was useless, so I got rid of it. For now, I'm just using the altar to store any voodoo feathers and mass pieces you find. The magic within the altar tells me that you have yet to find two more feathers and six more mass pieces. Really? Alright. <laughs> Where are we? 1022. So, that was the Messenger. That was the Messenger's DLC. That was, that was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed this this whole game. That was that was something else. Um, trying to see if we have anything that we can take a look at right now. You know what? I think we'll probably just wrap up here and call it a night. Um... See, there will be no stream tomorrow night. Sunday night, we will play... Whoop. I'm trying to decide if we start CrossCode Sunday or if we start CrossCode when we can play it like a couple days in a row. 
We'll probably start Crosscode on Wednesday. So Sunday night, we'll probably we'll just do... Pecker Becker. Oh my gosh, coming in with another 500 bits. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, wrap it. I want a wrapped gift. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we will do... Uh, Sunday night will probably be more in other waters, or we will be taking a look at before we leave. Um a upcoming RTS kind of city builder. Um, probably one of those two. And then we'll do <laughs> Ziff, because I, I know I'm going to like it, and I'm going to want to play it like two days in a row. Um, so we'll push it for Wednesday, maybe even Monday, Tuesday. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But it's coming. It's coming next week. Do not worry. Crosscode next week. Um, with that, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody online that we can send the stream on over to? <sighs> yeah, we're going to send it on over to Play Dungeon Mans. He is participating in Ludum Dare 46, which for those that do not know, Ludum Dare is a by or twice it's not biannual because that'd be every other year or every two years um it's twice a year game jam that uh they vote on all of like what the theme is going to be and then everybody makes a game for it so he is doing building his game and participating in that so we'll be heading over there play dungeon why are you not typing play dungeon Mates. there we go um, just wait, we'll be here for a month before CrossCode becomes a thing. No, CrossCode's happening. CrossCode's happening. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you again for coming on out. And give Jim some love. He's a great, great game dev, entertaining streamer. And he also ends up playing a lot of like retro Genesis music. So awesome to watch. Have a good one, everybody. And thank you. Have a great weekend. Possibly. Did I ever talk about the girl before you? She didn't work out. Well, then I know it's called the girl. Is that what she told you? Wow. Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, we were just covering over a disc that somebody dropped on me when I said, well, you see the game? And he's like, I see, I see no game here. I'm like, oh, and that reminded me of this scene in Jiro Dreams of Sushi when the guy's like, I see no fish here in a room full of fish. <laughs> People are saying there's a lot of tuna here. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> there, there. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. So, uh, I guess, uh...